I always try to create something as a warm-up before getting to work. Today I chose FW Inks from De La Rowney as my starting point. The paper is their Aquafine Hot Pressed, which is a pretty heavy paper but has a minimal texture. I sprayed some water first and then dropped in some ink. My process is mostly intuitive, and especially as a warm-up, I try to stay loose and experiment. I have no plan, I just play. It took years for this to feel comfortable. I normally want to control things a lot more, so being able to just let go and let the paint do what it wants to do and just sort of guide it along, that takes some, some time and it takes some discipline which sounds kind of counterintuitive, but it's, it's true. I started with indigo and love yellow and orange with blue. So blue and orange are complementary colors, and I tend to gravitate towards triads, split complementary, and complementary colors, much more than um, analogous or monochromatic colors. A lot of my painting involves me holding my brush in a way that loses some control, and so I try to hold my brush back from the ferrule. I try and hold it maybe in halfway, halfway point of the brush, just to give myself that little extra looseness and that lack of control. And now just to bump up the contrast in the work, or in the warm-up, because I'm still treating it as experimental. This isn't necessarily going to be a final painting. Um, I've added black, and it gives just that, that extra starkness, that, that something that the colors have to play against. And using the water bottle, again, spraying it, it, it allows that ink to spider out in a way that I could never paint without having all of those little channels of water for, for the ink to flow through. It's really satisfying to watch. And so I also dragged a bamboo pen through to give some visual contrast. So not only am I looking for that contrast in color value, I'm also looking for it in line quality. So sometimes I've got thin lines, sometimes they're thick lines, and the nebulous blobs of ink, they all really work well together. Removing ink is sometimes as important as applying it, and here I really liked the resulting texture by just blotting with a paper towel. Stabilo makes a fun crayon pencil called Woody. They're water soluble, but I chose to draw with them rather than paint with them here. Texture, contrast, and shape are probably the most important considerations when I create. It's also really easy to get caught up in the exploration with the materials and take things too far. I do that a lot, but I can still learn with every piece, even if I think it's overworked. And these warm-ups give me the freedom to just explore and, and try new things. I stopped this one just in time, I think, but the point is that it's a warm-up, and if it becomes something more than that, then I just consider it a bonus. A warm-up should be a zero-pressure exercise, and today's warm-up has given me the confidence and some ideas of what I might like to do with the rest of my workday. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.